know much about the. <laughs> My name is Lars Ulrik Thom, and I'm from Denmark. Uh, I'm 35 years old, and I am working in Beijing here in Beijing Postcards. And what I do is I collect old photos. We mainly collect Beijing because we are in Beijing. Most of the pictures are between 70 and a little bit more than a hundred years. The first time we started collecting the pictures, it was actually not me. It was my partner, Simon, who stumbled across a picture in Pingyao. Uh, and then afterwards, he realized that there was actually a lot of these kind of pictures, because they were taken by foreigners, were actually uh, in uh, foreign countries. And then, then uh, five years ago, we got the, the idea to start collecting in a more professional way. We got this idea together, uh, sitting back home in Simon's couch, drinking whiskey, uh, and then he showed me uh, the pictures. Uh, and we were just, we both agreed that these pictures were very unique, and we both agreed that you don't see these pictures in China today. They give you a rare opportunity to connect with the past and then we thought why don't we do something with them and then uh, we agreed to do uh, postcards uh, and when I came home two weeks uh, later uh, Simon he had only uh, already uh, made like 37,000 postcards uh, and we were like hey what are we gonna do now like who are going to sell them and how are we going to sell them and how are we going to go from here and then uh, slowly, slowly, uh, we started to develop our business. The obvious reason for coming to Nanlukushang is that Nanlukushang is a place where you can say um, the past uh, meet the modern society. We understand that sometimes you will have to, to tear, tear down uh, uh, parts of the Hutongs, but we also think that, that you have to preserve a little bit in order to connect with the past because I think that is a challenge. When I talk to my Chinese friends, a lot of them, they remember history as something being pretty boring uh, and being when they slept in school. And I think that's a shame because I think that history is everything. Like this one is, is funny because the bicycle uh, this man is holding is actually not his own bicycle. It's a prop to, because it's like a modern item. It's a prestigious uh, item. And these kind of items ha has of course uh, changed through time. Like this one, where you suddenly have a car coming into the picture. Uh, because at this point, a real car in China was something that not many people could afford. If you compare these two pictures, you can see there is a very distinct difference. Uh, you had a saying, like it was not uh, good to show your teeth so when Chinese people were photographed they would do everything in order not to show their teeth and these pictures uh, were a lot of them taken in studios uh, by Chinese people themselves the pictures the foreigners took uh, are very different like you can see this one where there's a lot of smiles going on and this one this picture is of course all, uh, also very interesting because this is where the Tiananmen Square is today. I think the, the picture I like the most is maybe this one. And I like this picture because it's like you can look at it forever. We simply don't know what's going on. So in the back of the picture we chose just to talk about uh, the development of uh, the Chinese population. Uh, sometimes we have uh, old Chinese people coming into the shop and even though they won't buy anything, it's, it's a pleasure to talk to them. Uh, like some of them can remember a lot when they see the pictures. And you know, the sparkle in their eyes is, uh, is, is something that really uh, moves me. Um, it's my tape recorder. If there is people coming into the store who tells me things about the pictures that I don't know, I will actually tape them. It's not like we made millions, but we are, are, are totally break even and we're making a little uh, on top of it uh, and we're still developing. You could say that our own uh, hobby, our hobby 
uh, became our business. Uh, and I think if we keep developing like we're doing now, it will be really good in the future.